Hey guys, Kevin here again. Today I want to show you guys a piece of kit I've been using for the last couple of years. It's a uh, bug net from the Friendly Swede. It's uh, pretty cool. I've been using this thing for my tarp camping and my hammock camping. I don't know about you, but tents are not really my thing. I'd rather be under a tarp or in a hammock so I can see what's around me. But bug season's a problem, right? So what I want to show you guys today is how to do a plow point shelter, tarp shelter, that's bug free. So stay with me and uh, we'll get going. So just to make things go a little quicker, I've got my 8x8 oil skin tent smith tarp already laid out. But uh, now I'm just going to lay out these tent stakes where I think about where I'm going to need them. Something like that. Oh, that one didn't go. So, first thing I'm going to do, stake out the back of this guy. There, once I've got the back of it staked out, what you want to do is get cut yourself a couple of Y sticks. What I mean by that, it's pretty obvious, pretty self-explanatory, two sticks that are about head height with a fork in it, a Y in the end. So, two of those guys, and why do we do that? So they'll hook together. So, put these guys up right in front of my tarp. So they're nice and hooked together. Doesn't matter, we're not building pianos. Then I grab the end of my tarp. As you can see, I've already thrown a toggle through it. So I toggle through the end. Boom. Here you go. Now it's already kind of set up. Now somewhere here, I left a piece of paracord. There we go. My piece of paracord. And all I'm going to do, I've got a bowline on one end, take a bite, throw a bite through that bowline knot, and I go over this whole mess. There. Oop. Just pull it tight. And I walk this back. Throw a stake in. There, things are already almost up. Now all I have to do, go stake out both corners. Now that I got my plow point all set up, I've got my speedy ridge line. Now I don't know about you guys, but I always have this thing pre-made in the pack with my tarp always goes with me wherever I go so if it's raining or pouring or snowing or whatever this thing's already set up for me if you don't know what a speedy ridge line is look it up there's a million videos on it especially Dave Canterbury um, I'll probably do a video on the knots that I use in the future but anyway this video isn't about teaching you how to set up a plow point shelter it's about how to making it bug free so take your speedy ridge line I've got a uh, loop in the other end of it already so it makes it so speedy and what I do is I just throw this around the top of one of these loops and then I bring it back to the back of my shelter and I fasten it to the back of this tent peg. I just use a clove hitch, something easy, something quick. So a couple loops, one, two, Throw it over itself, and boom, there. So now, I've got my ridge line with my Prusik. You can see my Prusik loop is already in there, and that's the key point of the shelters, to have that Prusik loop already built in on your speedy ridge line. So, let's get to the next part of this. There we go, friendly Swede. So when you get this, it comes, in, comes with these two little cheapo tent pegs. But there's a trick to setting this thing up. So what I do, I drag it out of the bag. And the cool thing is with this is it's got color-coded corners. So you don't get them screwed up. So there's two red ones on one end and there's two blue ones on the other end. This thing is super lightweight. doesn't hardly weigh a thing. It's really cheap. Uh, I'll make comment in the video right now as to what this thing costs at the making of this video. 
but it's really cheap. So what I do is I take two of those color corded corners and I just bring them, throw it in there and bring it to the back of your tarp. Don't bother going in there to paint in the butt, just drag it to the back, the very back, and spread this thing out and stake it down. So I'll, I'll bring you in for a closer look here in just a second. But basically you're staking this thing out on the outside of your tent. I know that sounds kind of odd, but you'll see why in a minute. So there, once you get that back side stake, come on in here, untwist it, whatever else might have happened. It is a net, it likes to grab every stick and leaf there is on the ground, but whatever. So now I grab my two red corners, got my stakes out here. Stake one end down, if I can get it, it's kind of kind of like a spring almost. There, stake one corner, pull it nice and tight. Take the next corner. Come on, go through the little loop. There we go. There, we're almost done. So let me bring you back here. You probably couldn't see it very well the first time. And show you what I mean about this sticking out in the back. So you can see there's my rear tent peg. So what you're going to want to do is stake these things out actually outside of your plow point shelter okay so whereabouts well generally what i do is i go one loop in come in about three inches or so on each side and stake it down okay it's not a big deal if that gets wet as long as you're dry then i come in here stake this down just about in line with i say the center probably the center loop Okay, and you want this thing a little bit springy because there's no door in this. You have to actually lift up the side to get in. So I'll show you in a minute. You get your Prusik loop in there. All you simply have to do, grab the friendly Swede. I, I give this a quick little twist around the top just to add a little height. Bring your Prusik knot down. This friendly Swede has a little hook on the end which is handy. They obviously plan on you attaching it to a guy line so of course I'm gonna fumble around here with this but there now just pull your plastic loop tight and there you go so like I said you want to leave this a little bit loose because this is your door so just sneak in underneath and there you go bug free camping under a tarp so plenty of room in this thing lay down in here I got room in here I can even maybe put some gear but now I'm 100% bug free in a tarp so there you go guys that's how you can become tarp free tarp free yeah tarp free bug free under your tarp in the summertime so thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll get with you on the next one